Welcome back students. Hope you all have gone through the video on weightage of marks as well as JNQH drawing booklet, a drawing sheet as well as booklet which are going to provide for you the examination as well as I am going to let you know the conic section, the gunshot questions, I mean how the question will be asked. Please do concentrate on this lecture where the conic section question is asked. There are two methods, I mean eccentricity method and the other methods I mean to let you all know. Before letting into the video, sometimes as per the analysis done by me, they were asking even to construct even the pentagon as well as the hexagon also for a 5 mark B.S. students. I hope you know how to construct pentagon and hexagon. They are asked in the previous year question papers. I have caught these things. So I am liking to let you all know even such type of questions will be also asked sometimes. And they also ask dividing a line into 12 equal divisions as well as dividing a circle sorry circle into 12 equal divisions and dividing a line also into certain equal divisions. Make sure to work out and concentrate as you need to work out these things for sure in order to work out for a scale or in order to construct certain hypocycloid epicycloid as well as in the part of solids you are supposed to take into consideration these polygons as well as dividing a line. Now let's jump into the conic sections. From the conic sections, if a question is asked, how they are going to ask you in the examination? If you look at the question paper or if you go through the syllabus copy of J into H, dear students, they have very clearly given that conic section, there will be only a parabola, hyperbola, ellipse, only the general method as well as the rectangular hyperbola. Whereas other than the general method, sometimes they are asking even the other methods also. I have posted all the general method videos as well as few uh, the other method videos including the rectangular hyperbola in my channel playlist. If you haven't gone through it, please go through it and start working from now. Next, let's look at how, what are the things they are going to ask and how they are going to highlight if the question is all about the conic sections. The first and foremost method in the conic section is all about the eccentricity method dear students. This is what I am telling as a general method. The eccentricity method is represented with a small letter E. If in the problem it is given a symbol E, it is said to be a conic section. Now eccentricity method is also called as in the question paper sometimes focus and directrix method work out using this problem a focus and directrix method again it is said to be a eccentricity method dear students hope you are following me now the focus is also called as fixed point dear students and a directrix is also called as fixed straight line dear students keep in mind these three parameters so that you could be able to understand the question while reading and you could recognize it and you can plot accordingly now if the eccentricity method is asked i told that it is of these three passions now what are the three things you are supposed to keep in brain is it's all about the value of e equals to one and e less than one and e greater than one in the question paper, they won't give you direct stating that E equals to 1, E less than 1, E greater than 1. You know E equals to 1, we are supposed to work out a curve called parabola. And if it is less than 1, we are supposed to trace the curve ellipse. And if it is greater than 1, the curve supposed to trace is nothing but a hyperbola curve by using eccentricity method, dear students. Now, how the question will be asked if a parabola is asked? Please do concentrate the question which I am going to let you know now. Construct a conical curve or the conic section when the distance from the fixed point I am going to represent with F and fixed straight line, fixed straight line is 50 for a value, for a value e equals to 1 when it is given like this it is very clear and direct question e is nothing but eccentricity method and the value of e equals to 1 the distance from the fixed point to the fixed straight line is 50 you are supposed to work out what type of curve it is it is all about parabola dear students 
Sometimes the question will be even like this. The distance from the focus to directrix is 60 and a value greater than 1 draw the curve and name the curve. Value greater than 1 is all about the hyperbola. Get it? I'll let you know for a value greater than 1 is given how to work out and how to focus problems which are being uploaded in my channel if it is greater than one the value of e need to be in a proportion that should be greater than one let it be two by three or two or four by three so on the value of e need to be taken you should know the definition of even e if you go through my channel playlist i have clearly explained in detail each and every problem what is in how to identify let's look at the problem of this only for example the distance from the fixed point to the fixed straight line is 50. the first and foremost thing what you are supposed to do here is this is all about the directrix that is nothing but the fixed straight line and draw a perpendicular to it this is all about the axis line this is all about the axis line and this is all about the directrix or it is also called as what dear students directrix is nothing but a fixed straight line so it is given that the fixed straight line to the fixed point is 50 by default the unit is millimeter dear students i would like to give you a tip now you are supposed to write all dimensions are in mm on the top of drawing sheet they'll be giving you specifically a dash stating that all dimensions are in dash you are supposed to write their millimeter on the top of drawing sheet and do not write your name and hall ticket number on it now the distance from i say this is said to be a b line of some distance and this is a c d line of some distance the distance from the fixed line to the fixed point is nothing but the focus which I am going to locate here as F. F is nothing but the focus. Now I need to locate the vertex. The vertex is a point where the curve pass through it and touching the axis as curve passing through the axis and touching the point that is called as the vertex. Now vertex won't be given in the problem. When the fixed point and fixed straight line is given sometimes even the vertex is given now how to locate that now for example it is for a value e equals to 1 given in the problem i have located at a distance of 50 the locus i mean for a fixed straight line to fixed point it is 50 now where i need to locate the vertex vertex eccentricity is nothing but defined as the distance from the focus to vertex i mean vf vertex to focus to the top vertex to directrix remember this thing this is nothing but the eccentricity for anything that may be a parabola ellipse or hyperbola dear students vf by va you are supposed to work out a lengthy video on how to construct these three constructions are already posted in my playlist go through it so e is nothing but what vertex to focus to the top vertex to directrix so as the value of e equals to 1 and that should be equals to 1 so what should be the distance for a value of 50 which is given here that should be equal in its distance 25 by 25 so that I can locate vertex at a distance of V to F a midpoint 25 and V to A midpoint 25. This is how we are supposed to concentrate even on the other part also dear students. I am not going to work out the complete construction here. They were already posted in this channel. Later, sometimes the vertex distance is given as 50 and nothing else is given in the problem trace a curve for a value e equals to 3 by 2 when the vertex is equals to 50 and name the curve i hope you are getting the question is like sometimes the focus to directrix will be given and sometimes this data is missing now here in the problem it is given trace a curve for a value e equal to 3 by 2 and the vertex is located at a distance of 50 on the axis draw the curve and name the curve hope you are getting that now what is this if it is e greater than 2 i know that the curve is set to be a hyperbola which is nothing but e greater than 1 
now once this is given i know how to work out the eccentricity definition getting dear student i told to remember eccentricity is nothing but vf by va hope you are understanding that whereas the value of e is given as 3 by 2 3 by 2 and the question will be given like this the distance from vertex to focus sorry the distance from vertex to focus is given as 50 hope you are understanding trace a curve for a value e equal to 3 by 2 when the distance from vertex to focus is 50 not directrix to focus it is from vertex to focus so vertex to focus is nothing but phi 0 which i know here and divided by va so i need to work out this va distance hope you can cross multiply this and work out for that i know the eccentricity method first i need to plot the directing line and then i need to work out the axis line where this focus vertex is located now vertex to focus is given dear students so i don't know from what point of a my vertex is located i should know from a to v what is the distance getting dear students so this is nothing but 3 va equals to 100 so va equals to 100 by 3 so calculate it that will be around 33 point something so you are supposed to locate a distance of 33.3 here on the vertex stating that the distance from v to a and v to f is given as already 50 this distance is worked out that is va from this such type of questions will be also asked dear students and do not expect directly stating that the problem is all about the focus to directrix or directrix to focus hope you are getting this and sometimes they'll be giving you instead of vf va equals to 30 for value e greater than 1 or e less than 1 instead of e equal to 3 by 2 what is given draw a curve for e less than 1 when a va distance i mean vertex to directrix is given 30 trace the curve and name the curve let's again work out eccentricity to be known for all of you stating that e equals to vf by va dear students but whereas here e is greater than 1 so you should assume sorry less than 1 you need to assume certain value for e less than 1 that is nothing but e equal to 1 by 2 or 2 by 3 or 3 by 2 sorry this is what 2 by 3 anything getting so on likewise you are supposed to work out take these two values which are less than 1 which are less than 1 now taking 1 by 2 for example here i am assuming right in the drawing sheet and stating that vf by va vf is not given but whereas va is given in the problem va is given as how much it is given as 30 now this is nothing but vf is located at a distance of 15 i hope you got this isn't it this is all about 15 now how to work out draw the directrix line then the axis and let this be a b and let this is c d this is directrix and this is axis and you are supposed to locate what first v to a v to a this is a from v to a the distance is how much dear students that is 30 and from v to f the distance is how much dear students that is 15 so this is 15 and this is 30 this value is greater so it is said to be e less than 1 uh, ellipse need to be worked out here dear students here you are going to get what hyperbola curve these are the different ways of putting the question and there are several other ways also asking the questions where i have done certain videos even in this channel this is only to give you an idea how the questions will be asked if the conic section problems are asked related to e value and there is a problem on even asymptotes method dear students in my channel 
asymptotes are nothing but x axis ox and oy values will be given in form of 20 comma 30 draw using orthogonal method or the asymptotes method and sometimes oblique asymptotes method certain angle will be given that need to be also worked out based on this formula only where ox and oy or oa and ob are nothing but the asymptotes you are going to get a rectangular hyperbola within this region such videos are also uploaded in my channel please do practice all this do not maintain a backlog as it is a covid pattern you are going to get six questions of which you are supposed to attempt any three and make sure that the first unit is the very easiest unit and if you don't have the fundamentals of orthographic projections you cannot work out points lines planes or solids whatever the remaining units dear students now other than this they are asking the other methods also in the examination they are nothing but the other methods for the parabola ellipse as well as hyperbola construction they are nothing but the rectangular method oblong method as well as concentric circle method isn't it these all such type of videos to construct ellipse parabola and hyperbola were already uploaded in my channel and if you are not i'm going to upload that if not please try to work out from the textbook do not expect only eccentricity method dear students it is all about the rectangular hyperbola oblique rectangle oblique method as well as the remaining other methods to construct ellipse parabola as well as hyperbola dear students Hope you are clear with all this concept which I have kept on the board. If you are looking for any other videos, please do comment as well as share this content with your friends. This may help them. Hope you are liking my videos. For more videos, please do subscribe to my channel as well as do not work out, do not forget to work out from the playlist all this which I have highlighted and go through the gunshot questions of unit wise which I have posted in form of individual video and the weightage of marks and how to score a better mark. I am going to once again put it in the comment section here the link please go through it and work out so neatly by highlighting each and every parameter like which pencil to be used where I am going to give you in one form of video another form of video where the instructions as well as the tips and how to score better mark and the usage of pencil in the coming video for more videos please do subscribe to my channel and do not forget to share this content with your friends hope you will pass this exam with a better mark good luck and god bless you all students thank you